Alright, to start, I'm going to put the phone into download mode. The steps I'm showing on the screen right now. Um, this is something like this. I start out with the um, zip file, the BOK3. So I'm going to open up Odin. to get me to the newest version of the firmware mostly because I want to not be vulnerable to stage fright anymore um, so I'm going to click on this the 1.6 gigabyte tar file so we'll give it a second Okay, three. Yeehaw. Okay, I got the drivers installed, the phone plugged in. I have debug mode on. I click on root. Give this thing control of my uh, computer, probably. <laughs> USB debugging. Always allow from this computer. And okay. And it says unauthorized, so we're going to close this. And we're going to reopen it again since I approved the prompt. Sure. Alright, now it says device. Good deal. Uh, wait for the device. This show up in Windows Explorer before starting. So I'll go to my computer. And there it is in Windows Explorer. Good deal. I assume it's so I can copy the files. And let's hit enter. Probably giving China direct access to my phone. It's always good. No one really knows where these apps came from. But they exist, so we use them. Sure, let's run this program. Oh, it booted my phone in download mode for me. Alright. Yes, run Odin. Why not? Alright. So, I assume it wants me to do something. Um, now it's time to flash the to internal. During the process, the phone shall stay on Samsung logo. Then go to download. Not covery. Alright, here we go. I'm in the AP slot. I'm going to do as it says. And I'm going to put the NK2 kernel on here. Alright. Looks like we're ready to go. Let's hit start. Yay. Oh, phone just turned off. I assume that's just putting a vulnerable kernel on there so it can do its magic. Hmm, it's almost like it's 
van de heid omhoog gaan zo. Remove my phone. Uh, looks like I'm gonna be flashing the OK2 kernel now. Right there. The Ryzen VOK3 kernel. And we'll click that. And we'll click start. Uh, it opens over and again for you. Okay. I don't want to touch it. Ah, look at that. It's and... Yeah, I know. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's King Root. And there's busy packs. Alright. I guess we're probably moving. Alright, I'm not a fan of King Root, so I am going to copy I'm gonna copy the Super Sumi six point seven. And I like Super Sumi. Copy bar on the phone. I open up safe strap on here. I got a root prompt. So I'm going to download something like root checker and check it. Alright, I'm going to try skipping some steps here just to see if I can simplify it. Now I ran that script and now I'm going to go right into. I'm going to switch to super user from king root because I don't know if I really like king root. So I'm going to go to my files, wherever the hell it is. My storage. Super Sumi. Install. Yay. Alright, now I'm going to install BusyBox. Super user request. Looks good. Ramp. Let's install it. Everything looks good. So now I can uninstall the box installer. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna install Safe Strip just to remove Knox because I noticed Super uh, Super Sue didn't prompt me. So I'll uninstall Super Sue me. Sure, Grant. Okay, install. All right, looks like it's installed. I'm going to reboot to recovery.
Sweet. Alright, what do I want to do here? Um, I want to install that amazing little script. Bye bye. Nox. Don't see Nox on there. So, not sure what the deal with that is. Alright, it still shows Nox by about me, so I'm gonna <clears throat> try to flash this again. Maybe it didn't take. Looks like after flashing that zip, I'm stuck on the Ryzen screen. It's been this way for. About five minutes. So I just pulled the battery and turned it on again. And it booted. I'm going to flash a custom ROM because I need to use exposed. But um, as far as stock, looks like Max is still there, so that was pointless. All right, now I'm going to install a custom ROM. Um, normally you would back up, but since I don't care about this ROM or the data on this phone because it's new, I'm just going to do wipe, and then advanced wipe, and wipe system, cache and data. Hold on to your butt. Alright, uh, after I restarted that, it did freeze on the Verizon screen. So once it rebooted, I was back into the Deodex ROM. And I've been playing with it for a while, and it hasn't crashed, and um, everything seems to be good. I have no Nox. I went and used Titanium Backup and removed some stuff. Installed, exposed. Um, to install exposed in the Deodex ROM, it actually comes with Flash Fire, so I just flashed the zip. I just installed the exposed zip file. I flashed the zip first and then I actually got the APK to manage it. I just did that with the Flash Fire that's already in the ROM. Plus, and then flashing is up pretty easy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start using this phone. If anything doesn't work right, I'll let you know.